Hey everyone, Multi Apples here, bringing another video, and today we'll be playing some NCAA. Oh, it's actually NCAA March Madness. Oh wait, let's go ahead and get it started. Um, they're currently thirteen and zero. Oh. See if we can get the rebound, which we did. That is good. Unfortunately, the turnover is not good. That turnover is. Ah, oh, dang it, we missed a shot. So I'm playing as the UALR Trojans. Dang it, we nearly got a steal. Ah, shoot. That was a foul. We can leave him in for the play to foul for a little while. Okay, how many fouls does Olsen have? Because if he has two, then that is not good. That means I'll have to keep him out for a little bit. Olsen has two fouls, so you get fouled out with five fouls, so I will need Olsen. Olsen to sit. We can put in uh, Metcalf as our sixth man. Ah, uh, that's rather unfortunate. We're down three to nothing. Okay, it's three to two. Um, once the T gets in for some of these guys, I will actually take them out. Ah, another turnover. That's not good. I can figure out which button. Works the best. Oh, I don't want to get uh, my created player, whose last name is Drew. I don't want him to get fouled out, so I won't be playing as him. Okay, so we're uh, let's do a half court trap. And here went past that. So I'm not going to play as Zhu. See if we can. Ah, sh oh, he missed. I thought we were going to block it, but then. And he was going to score, but obviously that didn't happen. And neither did that, uh... Is that an offensive foul? No, it's a defensive foul. Ah, uh, two horrible shots. I need to uh, get better at... Um, free throw shooting. It's been a while since I played this game, so I'm a little rusty at it. And we made that three to tie it up, which is good. Uh, the, the Denver Pioneers are who we're playing, and they are currently 4 wins and 10 losses. We are 13 wins, 0 losses.
if we lose here, uh, that will end our winning streak. Really quick, who are, uh, where does our team rank in this, uh, what are our players rank in assists? Uh, yes, two. Matt Calf, who's on the bench, does one. Force them out of bounds, that's good. Chose the wrong button, my bad, y'all. Ah, oh, I can't believe we were blocked. Oh, that was a horrible three-point shot, but you know what? That's okay. Ah, we nearly got it. It's now a two-possession game. Uh, let's check out where our team is. Uh, not Skinner. Boone has to come out. We'll put in Spears. More Reed can come out for Skinner, and Haley can come out for Edwards. We can put Olsen back in for Metcalf. Go for two three zone. Actually, let's go for a half court man. That's so we have possession. That's good. And we still missed. So this is the first game of our con of our Sun Belt Conference. Season of the conference season for the Sun Belt. Uh, you, you, uh, UALR Trojans, are, as they're known in this game, they're now known as the Little Rock Trojans, and we are still in the Sun Belt conference. Ah, uh, shoot, I, I really shouldn't play when the center on the opposing team has the ball. I really should not be playing as them. Yes, it's a good uh, block. Dang it, we were blocked again, but at least we got the offensive rebound. Still didn't get, uh, still haven't gotten a uh, steal yet. Go ahead and help him. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, we still missed. That's a foul. They're all bullying him. We still can't score. All right, we're down by one now. If we prevent Denver from scoring, uh, and we score, never mind. I don't see we're going to take the lead, but... Okay, we have it tied up now. I tried to come in for a little more help. That did not work. So let's see if we can get an open man. So it's back to being tied. Okay. Spears can come out for Bone and Skinner. Can come in for Morheed. Uh, Edwards can come out for Haley. And Copeland for Olsen. I'll leave Zhu in for a little while longer, even though he's more fatigued. Ah, oh, shoot, we did not score there. I, I could have gotten a better shot, though. I could have also played better defense there. And we were fouled. Dang it. Totally forgot which button was to change it to a half court trap. Fouled again, so I can practice my shooting now. That was a little better. I know which button now it is. So we are down by six. So actually at the next stop and play, let's have you come out for uh Harper. 
Next time I can actually have him come in at shooting guard, so that way uh, when the point guard brings it up, the heck pushes right out of the way so let's see so at least we're down by five now Why he didn't just take the three point shot, I didn't I do not know. But okay. Thank you. Ah dang it, I thought we were for sure gonna hit that shot. Ah, shoot! Another miss shot. That's a uh, that's an accidental foul. Where is my team's rebounding? How come we're not rebounding? Ah, that was a bad shot there. I can't believe we made that shot. Actually, what is that? An off three second offensive violation if he was standing there? Thankfully, he missed and we got the rebound. Okay, so far, Stat Central was not played. Basically, everyone but Blake is played. Ah, dang it. So, let's actually put Blake in. Uh, Joe needs to rest for a little bit more, so. Which is unfortunate, because we really need him. He's like our team's main shooter. Thank you.
Actually, uh, we can leave Haley in. Copeland's coming out. And that'll be it for everyone. So we need a two to tie it and a three to take the lead. Never mind about taking the lead. Well, that was a bad pass. So we're down by six now. Oh, nice. We're down by three. Oh man, I I may have hit, uh, pressed and held a, or held X too early because I uh, I did not shoot when I wanted to. That's on me. Sweet. So, let's see if we can, okay, let, uh, let's not turn it over next time. Yes, finally, <laughs> the steal, and next stop in can play will do self, and we're, we are up by one now. I will try my best to keep the lead. I'm gonna let you listen to game volume because I don't know what to talk about. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Misses it. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Opportunity for two for one. Good tough man-to-man -man defense. Got to see ball man. They'll work it around the arc. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Shot clock is dead. Looking for a good shot. Working it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle. Nice touch from the outside. And the ball goes.
goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. He had to hurry that one. Misses the tray. These teams have played each other tight, and at the end of the first half, they're even. Arkansas Little Rock went three ball crazy dick in the first half. They sure did, Brad. The trifectas were there for the taking. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He takes the shot off the baseline, way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. For the bucket, perfectly executed. With a deep pass. Gave it up. From right in the circle. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Man-to-man -man defense. On the outside. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. And momentary look from three-point land. They call for the double team. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. There's the pick. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out. With a great block. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh. <laughs> Looking to move it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. And he missed. The ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. The student body is rocking tonight. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. And there's a look at the... Good teams will get to the line often. 
but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. There's a reason they're called free throws. They work the perimeter. For two. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. They're doing a nice job of getting back on D. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. And that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Attempts the Hail Mary. Not there. And the ball goes out of play. Number 20 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. Harm and foul. Skinner is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. Brad, he's in what many people call a funk. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. From downtown, Dick, can they eventually get it going from behind the arc, you think? If they stop forcing him, sure. Number 20 is whistled for the foul. Fifth team foul. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Goes up for two. They still don't score. He puts it up there. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Arkansas Little Rock is now in the bonus. One and the bonus. He got it. Arkansas and Little Rock are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can. It's the second. Number double zero is, is one of the best freshmen in the country. To me, that's a huge talent to have, Brad. I hope he can remain focused and continue to be among the best throughout his college career top of the circle. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Defense giving some room. they work it around the arc. Looking for a good shot. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Way off target. Skinner comes up with it for the bucket. Scorches the net. That's an 8 nothing run. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He drains the shot. the rim and no good on the outside looking for the foul 
Drops the bucket despite the harm. And they get the turnover. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Trying to draw some contact. Doesn't go. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. In the paint. Puts it up looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Let's it fly. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. Man a man a man. Match it up. Makes it. This is an old-fashioned stomping. These shots are falling from everywhere. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. Got to make that, baby. Had that wide-open angle. Had the chance to lay it on a glass for an easy deuce. They work it around the perimeter. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. For two. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. He calls for the double team. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. That's a 10-0 run. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Misses the free one. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. They've left him completely alone. He tries the three. Way off target. Number double zero is called for the foul. Second team foul. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up, gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up, gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. He wants a three off the... He bombs from outside, way off target. 
Count that as a personal foul. To the charity strike. He gets it to go. To number double zero. Has shown that he's one of the best freshmen in all of college basketball, Dick. He's a definite type of dandy, Brad. I think he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in college basketball. Throws up the prayer. They can't find the range right now behind the arc. They should start looking elsewhere. Maybe try and get an easy one inside. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries to get the D to bite. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. And the ball goes out of bounds. Three-second call. He got caught camping. Side. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two, in and out, with the long bomb. He doesn't get the hoop. The ball goes out of bounds. The Trojans are in the double bonus. Makes the first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Ten second violation. Can't remember the last time I heard that one, Brad. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He fouled him. Olsen steps. He hits. He misses the second shot, and they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. There's the trap. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught. And Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. There's a double team waiting there. There they come with a double team to stop it. They still don't score. Number double zero is feeling great out there right now. He may be in a zone right now, Brad. Way off target. Puts it up. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Oh, 
He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Both free throws go. Number double zero has been labeled as one of the top newcomers in all of college basketball. He's extremely talented, Brad. He may be a... Some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Gave it up. The small forward gets the ball. Arkansas and Little Rock are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Hard foul. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. Dante okay, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Goes up for two, and he scores despite the hack. Let's see that up close. The shooting guard gets the pass. Entry pass in the paint. He puts it in with contact and all. We'll get a better look on the replay. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. At this point in the game, block management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. Now it's a 2-3, changes its look. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Intercepted. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. You've got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two with the layup. And we've got a whistle and a foul. In the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. I think they're trying to make a statement. With the free one. Everything looked good, but the result. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. They work the perimeter. Double team now, that angle. At the foul line. <laughs> Makes the first shot. Makes his second shot. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. Moorhead pounded on his way up. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created the foul opportunity. Second one is no good. And Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They got to start knocking him down before it's too late, baby. For two, the shot won't fall. Contact causes the shot to come off. 
Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? With the free throw. Good. Well, the arc looked good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. The small forward takes the pass. He drains the shot. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. For the deuce, rims out. There's the trap. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. He shoots. Off the rim and no good. The power forward with the ball. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Length of the floor. They work it around the perimeter. The center takes the feed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He tries the three. Rims out. Perfectly executed. There's the fake. He takes a chance from half court. Dick, can they eventually get it going from behind the arc, you think? If they stop forcing him, sure. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Launches it. It won't fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He steps up to the line. Just like in practice. Gets it. The Pioneers' mental effort has deteriorated. Hey, they've got to pick themselves up. That's a sign of a good team. Pushes it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. In the paint. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. And a momentary look from three-point land. Look at that spacing. Wide open for the shot. Ten on the shot clock. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. 
Time expires on the shot clock. That's fantastic D, Brad. What happened was that the defense... On the dribble, gives it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Misses his first shot. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. They work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Rims out. Gave it up. Up and inside. He had to hurry that one. Off the rim and no good. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle.